Breaking news. Yo, are you guys ready? This is hype. Are you ready? <laughs> you're, not, you're not ready. Blue Beetle, baby. Blue Beetle. Casting news. Sharon Stone will be playing villain Victoria, Victoria Cord. Cord. Wow, in the, the weekend there was rumor of Ted Cord. Ted Cord. One of the wife, previous iterations of, of Blue Beetle. Cord. Yeah, because um, they're not I got chills, bro. I got chills. They're not using Jarvis. <laughs> on the on the weekend, there was a a, a rumor that was that Sandra wow. Bullock was in talk, but they were looking for someone fifty to sixty to play a role in Blue Beetle. So it looks like it's Sharon Stone. That's rad. I mean, the last time she was in a comic movie though was Catwoman. So I don't know how. And she was a villain get. in that movie too. Yeah, she was <laughs> also a villain in that. Now we'll see. This this is but this is working out though. I think they're getting rid of Jarvis Cord. And they're just going to go straight into Victoria Court as that role. I okay. think that's what they're doing here because they're using Care Packs as one of the villains as well. And then Andrew and I talked last last week, I think, about it being Lady Sticks as well. Uh, whether or not she's connected. I'm hoping Lady Sticks, they use Lady Sticks as like the villain going forward into maybe. I think they're getting rid of Justice League and they're going to go into like a Justice Society movie. Maybe they go in that way. And that's where you bring in Lady Lady Sticks. And, and mm -hmm. she's the main. She, she kind of it comes in on Blue Beetle and then she grows past that but all right sharon stone the villain again coming up blue beetle this movie is uh <laughs> they start shooting in uh, in april i think it's like april 21st somewhere around there they start shooting this movie cool. um but andrew you're a big big lady sticks fan are you hoping that she <laughs> that, that victoria cord turns into lady sticks on this <laughs> i'm a fan of just crazy dc characters in general uh lady sticks she has four arms i think so that automatically makes her two times better than everybody else um <laughs> She, in terms of just like how important or iconic she is, though, I mean, she's more along the lines of like a villain you would put in like a Guardians of the Galaxy movie, like iconic for her little pocket, but not like a Doctor Doom kind of villain that everybody knows. So I still hope we see her. Uh, but this is exciting too. Sharon Stone is exciting, and having the whole cord industry is thing exciting. I guess that means we're gonna see Ted, who I didn't think we would see. The rumor is they want James Marsden to play Ted. So that's... I am okay with that as long as he still commits to Sonic 3 because that's a cinematic <laughs> universe we need to keep track of. Rob didn't seem that excited about James Marsden as Ted Cord. What's up, Rob? <laughs> I like James Marsden just fine. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a good actor. Um, yeah, I just this movie in general is it's just so interesting that it's like you know originally this movie was supposed to go straight to uh, hbo max and then they yeah. decided to give this one a uh, theatrical release when batgirl seemingly still an hbo max movie when i'm just looking at the two movies i'm like well one seems more destined to for the big screen to me than the other so you know good, good for them i mean in general because you know i do like the main uh, actor he's a uh, pretty great in uh, cobra kai so um yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it, I would be lying if I said that I'm not a little dubious about Sharon Stone, you know, act, act, acting as another DC villain, knowing how, how, how bad, uh, how, how, how it turned out the first time a little bit. So that's that, that gives me a little bit of pause. But you know, at the same time, she is a good actress. So I'm I was sure gonna that's... say, I was just gonna say, sorry, that the the comic book film genre has changed in those ten years since or 20 years since Catwoman, but then Morbius is coming out. And I'll give you a more firm answer on that on Friday after I see Morbius, because it looks like <laughs> we, might be going back. we might be going back a little bit. But uh, but the reason the, thing, the reason why I think this is going to the big screen, and Batgirl still might go to the big screen, but I just mentioned the Justice Society, which is going to play a big part in Black Adam, and Blue Beetle might fit into that a little bit more. And with Lady Sticks being there, that could be why this is going to the big screen, where they're going to have that world there, and then Batgirl and Michael Keaton, Batman and Gotham Knights, on HBO Max. Scotty, you broke this news. Why don't you share your thoughts on this? Because we talked about Blue Beetle a bit a few weeks ago as well. Uh, I know that um, the the kid from Cobra Kai is the main, I think, was it Ramirez is the, the Blue Beetle he'll play. Mm -hmm. But one of the more interesting ones to me is actually Ted because the light research I did, there's a comic where he's trying to talk or – it's it's him or one of the other blue beetles trying to talk the other one out of actually like giving into what this thing wants like he's now treating it like the enemy because it's an alien it has its own agenda etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm wondering if that is what spawns the cord family to be um you know against it because there are comic panels where ted's in a wheelchair etc i don't know if that was because of the blue beetle or what but 
that's more deeper plot because the guy was blue beetle at one point and now he's like against the new blue beetle so i'm excited more so now yeah so man i guess i think you brought up how the core core industries could kind of be like stark industries in in a way i hope victoria cord becomes like the next lex luther of dc mm. and she becomes like she's the bad guy but not you're like she's just there and we don't i don't want the characters to know right off the bat she's evil and even if they do i don't want them to be able to pin it anything on her i kind of want her to be just throughout the the dc universe if the dc universe is even a thing because now they're gonna let you know directors direct and creators be creative so they might not have it but i still think we're gonna get a just justice society is what, what they're building towards i really feel like that's where we're going and blue beetle i think is is the f- at Black Adam, Shazam, apparently Shazam 2, guys, is really good. They have had four test screenings so far, and it's it's blowing the roof off of them. Oh, They're geez, saying it's man. not as... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. That's why it's coming in December. The thing must be uh, early on. And Black Adam apparently is testing very well. Man, uh, I hope we get well, trailers so. for Shazam. Mm-hmm. You think we're going to get all the gods? It's Fury of the Gods. You think we're going to get the gods that like make the initials of the... Shazam. Yeah, I hope we're getting, so. We're getting at least two, we're getting at least two, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're holding up for part three to have the rest of them. We'll see. Black All right, let's get to our. That was great. Uh, two two breaking news to kick the That's show cool, yeah. off. Steve, anything you want to add about Blue Beetle? I'm looking at you right now, and you're like, he's my favorite. 